Hey everyone, here we are going to be going over how to prevent mice from getting in and living inside your car. I have had a lot of mice get inside my car and build nests over the past several years because I've been traveling a lot and it usually happens to me when I get in really uh, primitive camping areas. Like right now I'm camping in the desert and there's usually mice that live in and around the campsites because you know, mice live in the woods for starters, and also people leave crumbs and food scraps behind and that attracts mice, and they always end up in my car. So anyway, um, I have tried multiple different methods. None of them really worked. There's all kinds of products and videos and techniques out there of things you can do. So here I'm gonna show you what I think is the best method. It's what I've been doing for the past, like I think six to nine months, and I have not had any mice since then. So I'm pretty sure that it works really well. So here, let's get to it. All right, so you're only going to need two very cheap products for this, and that is peppermint oil and a large spray bottle. Now, this peppermint oil was $8 at Walmart. There's a lot of brands out there that are supposedly, you know, higher quality. Um, this stuff's pretty potent. You can put a drop of peppermint oil on your toothbrush or even directly on your tongue. And I mean, you can feel how potent it is. It, it feels like you just put a whole pack of gum in your mouth. But, um, and then you need a uh, good spray bottle. This was $4 at Home Depot. It's a, a professional sprayer. Um, you can get a little cheap one like this for like a dollar at walmart but i am i've gone through like literally maybe 10 of these in the past few years because they always break so this time i just went ahead and got a big professional sprayer bottle this thing works beautifully all right so what you do is you fill this bottle up with water this bottle is 32 ounces which is a quart and then you get your peppermint oil and you add anywhere from 10 to 20 drops i'd say is good enough one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, then you put the top back on and you shake it up really, really well because water and oil does not mix very well, obviously. All right, now for the fun part. So here is under the hood of my car. I have a Toyota Prius and I have found I think three mice nests total in my car. One was right here on top of this fuse box. One was under right here behind the engine. And then a third one I found was underneath the gas tank and it was in, or no, no, it was underneath the car in between the gas tank and the frame of the car. That one looked like a bird's nest. And I noticed every single one of the nests had insulation from the car in the nest. Like right here, this is where a mouse chewed right there. He, they got up in there and they, they, they rip the little soft insulation on like the sides of the car and they make nests with it. And also I just wanted to say that, uh, you know, when mice get in your car, they always crawl up the wheels and up the shock absorbers. Obviously that's the only way for them to get in the car. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're going to spray all of this down with the peppermint water. Um, you want to make sure that you don't spray anything electrical like any like right here There's an electrical connector. There's an electrical connector um, Right here do not spray in and there's a mass airflow sensor Don't spray anything that is like connected to like electricity You just want to spray the flat surfaces like this flat thing. I spray it on top of this thing a little bit on top of this uh, air filter box um, and then also you want to spray along the sides of the car like right here um, The metal frame and there's like little holes right there You want to spray in the metal frame and another place that mice get into often is your AC vents Now here's the AC vent on my car And you can pop this little thing off and in there They get up in there and there's a little hole right in there I don't know if you can see it on camera and they, they crawl in there. So what we're going to do is we're gonna spray, like I said, we're gonna spray this all down in the vents, in the little cracks in here. And also do not spray the alternator or the power steering pump or any belts like the alternator belt or the serpentine belt. This my, a Prius is a hybrid, so it doesn't have an alternator. All right, here we go. And you wanna uh, spray, put the nozzle on like a, a, in between a mist and a stream. So it's kind of like this, so it's kind of, kind of like in the middle all right so i just go like that and i spray the plastic i spray the what is that the uh, windshield wiper fluid reservoir i spray right there like that oh you can smell it it smells like peppermint i spray the top of the fuse box i spray the metal in there and in these little holes right here like i said 
Um, and in, in order to get in those little holes, sometimes you have to twist the the knob to make it more like a jet stream and you can go like that and spray it up against the frame of the car in those little cracks. I spray uh, in here. That's the AC vent. You want to spray in the AC vent right there. Um, and now your AC is going to smell like mint for a while. Um, that may or may not bother you. It doesn't bother me. I think it's kind of nice. Um, and then you spray it up in there. You want to be very careful. Like I said, do not spray anything electrical or that might look fragile in any way. Like this is this is the uh, air conditioning high pressure valve. You don't want to spray that. Just things that are basic metal and basic plastic. Basically, you want this whole region to just reek of peppermint because the peppermint stings the mice nostrils and then this thing right here i soak this thing it's made of foam and that just absorbs the peppermint water and then it makes the whole area smell like peppermint um, i spray in this little crack right there i'll just do a spray in there now my front bumper looks terrible from off-roading i know but i just go like this i'll do a few minor sprays in there you don't want to soak the alternator or i mean the uh what is that the radiator just just a few small sprays that won't hurt anything and i'll get a few sprays back behind the engine just up against the the wall back there right here up in there and then actually this thing right here is hollow um, if you take it off, the AC vent is under it. There's actually another metal plate that you have to remove, and that's the AC vent under there. Um, I don't feel like removing it right now, so I just go like this, and I'll spray it. Just get, like, in little cracks to make sure you get in there the best you can. And then down in there where there's, like, a few metal parts, just be real careful. You can get a few sprays in there. And then down in there should be okay. Now, I really soak it under here. Like, I, I mean, I make sure that it reeks of peppermint um like i go through typically an entire bottle i would say 32 ounces like this with 20 drops of peppermint oil that should be good for one treatment all right so we've done under the hood and now we are going to spray the wheels now there's a specific way that you need to do it um, you do not want to spray the rotors like don't spray the rubber or the brake rotors or the brake caliper or uh, Or the brake pads, okay, but what you can do is spray the rims right here and Just like a mist like that just spray around the rims like that and also you can spray up here Just spray the shock absorber just a little bit um, there, now there's a few electrical connectors back there. There's like an ABS sensor and stuff like that. Of course you wanna stay away from that. And also I spray this plastic right here. I soak the plastic uh, protective things all around it. I go like this, get it all nice and wet. Um, you don't wanna soak the shock absorber, but I think just a little bit, I don't think that'll hurt anything. All right, now for this side. Keep in mind, I am avoiding the rotor and the brake caliper and the tires. And this is really a pain to do if you have like a really cheap spray bottle. That's why I recommend the professional sprayer because it just sprays so nice and powerfully. And for the back wheel, now these are drum brakes these are not like uh there's no brake pads so i just get a little bit on the drums the outside of the front of the drums i think that's okay now the back left Basically, anywhere that you think a mice would walk by, you want it to have the peppermint water sprayed on it. And here at the front, there's a little hole in the plastic right here. I don't know if that's from mice or if mice are using that to get in or what, but I'll just spray it just in case. All right, so I have used about three-fourths of the bottle, and I've got a little bit left, and my hood has been up, and it's 
pretty much dry now from all the spray. So I'm gonna do a second layer just to really, you know, go the extra mile. And this foam thing really absorbs water. I feel like it's a great thing to spray. Let's do like that, just on that, on this. There, in the AC vent. So yeah, like I said, um, one bottle is with 20 drops of peppermint oil. That's good enough for one treatment. Do it exactly how I showed you. The wheel, all four wheels, and then under the hood. All right, so I've got a little bit left, so I will use these on the front shocks because it appears that the front wheels is where they usually climb in because they're usually in the under the hood. All right, so that's it. It's super easy to do. It takes five to 10 minutes, costs less than 20 bucks. I hope it was helpful. Um, there's one other video where a guy uses peppermint oil on YouTube that I watched, and he recommends that you do this every six months. Um, if you have a problem with mice in your car, I would say to do it every one to two months until you know you notice that the mice are gone. Or if you come out to really mice prone areas like these, you know, primitive camping areas, then um, I would do a treatment like before the camping season starts. Like right now, spring is hitting. So I'm doing a treatment because there's going to be tons of people out here camping and food scraps and mice are going to be everywhere. So I'm preparing ahead of time for that. All right. I hope it was helpful. Thanks. Have a good one.